believe I have the final segment ready to go. It's my eyeshadows. Now, I will be doing a declutter on my brush collection, but that's going to take me a little bit to get organized. So, we will start off with the first palettes that I'm going to be getting rid of. My first palette declutter. Stage four of my very first declutter series. And the last one for the time being. Anyway, the eyeshadows went that away. Or was it that away? It could be that way. Um, well, they're all over the place at this point because I've got what's left, and my daughter in law has a bunch, and my granddaughter has a bunch, and my eye look today came from the Aftershock palette, which is one of the ones I kept. This is a bad habit piece that I picked up from the very, very, very big sale from Shop Hush. And the Street Ink Palette by Malibu, Malibu Glitz. It gave me excuses to use these because I could find them. Anyway. They went that way. Hi. Well, I'm back. Yep, I'm back. Anyway, this current pile out here is some of my basics from my eye collection. I'm not getting rid of anything in the mascara group because this is it. I have a Wet n Wild Mega Protein in the not waterproof, Mega Protein in the waterproof, the Wander Unlashed that Pink Sweet sent me with some of the other stuff. I have the AOA Skinny that I use for my short lashes underneath and then a basic e.l.f. That's all I have in mascaras. That's it. That's all. That's everybody. Eyebrows. One e.l.f. pencil. One wet n wild pencil. And an e.l.f. Pack, compact with the wax and the powder. That's it for my eyebrows. I'm dead simple. I'm sorry. Now, primers. Eye primers. The only really odd one I've got, I got this in a sample box when I got one of the leftover Sephora plays. It is the Sephora powder primer. It's just a beige powder. It's very nice. It's very silky, but it's just a beige powder. And then I have my Wet n Wild, my Elf, the Ruby Kisses that I've been using recently, and then my AOA Studio White. That's it for my primers for my eyes. I don't have a lot of that. Now, this pile over here is a whole nother ball of beans. What I've got here, this is all, literally, all of it is eyeliners in some ma manner, shape, or form. I've got felt tip eyeliners in several colors, and I've got the liquid pot with the brushes.
in a selection of colors. And then I have this one, which is from e.l.f., which is just one of the basic um, cream eyeliners. Now I've got the top crooked. Yeah, this one is called Teal Tees. These are all just pencils. And if you look at the bottom of the pencils, they're all different colors. I've got all make, manner, and description. Yes, I've probably got a couple, three different blacks. But the blacks I've got is like, this is a gel. This is a gel pencil from e.l.f. And I've got my Wet n Wild pencils. And I've got my Imori pencils. The Imori pencils I picked up from Amazon. And I've got these white pencils that actually are just, they're shimmery. Which can be a pain in the rear because you can't really see them. But then I've also got a white pencil from... Elf, which is a not shimmery, it's a matte. And I get a lot of color out of that one. At this point, I am not giving up any of my pencils. Not any of my pencils. I'm going to use the liquid eyeliners until they either run out or dry out. Same thing with the um, markers and all of that. I don't see me getting rid of much of anything out of these because, for one thing, if I'm going to get rid of an, something that I use this close to my own eyes, I'm not giving it to somebody else. I'm not taking the chance that something that I use on my waterline is going to give eye cooties to anybody else. Just not doing it. Not good. Um... And I've used each and every one of these. I mean, I, any color you can think of just about. And the thing is, some of the Emoris, like the hot pink one, is also considered a lip color. So, you know, it can be used either way. Same thing with this pink. It's a pale pink. But it can be used on your waterline. It can be used as a lip pencil. And I like them too much. They're too much fun. I am definitely not giving up any of my pencils at this point. And yes, I have three or four sharpeners as well as the ones that come with a sharpener anyway, like the e.l.f. pencils. And these are amazing little sharpeners. Never lose them. If you get them, never, ever lose them. They're wonderful. Alrighty. That's it for that part. I'm going to be pulling out the rest of these. And we will see what happens with those. Alrighty. I fibbed a little bit. I didn't get the rest of the palettes out yet. What I've got here, and this one is kind of a bronze color, are all my loose pigments. That's all my loose pigments. Over here in that little drawer, sorry, I fibbed. I got another couple of loose pigments running around loose in here and some glitter but this little stack over here has got my collection of glitter glues of all make manner and description i've got some generic glitter glue i've got some elf glitter glue you know the generic glitter glue you can pick up in in amazon or wherever the elf glitter glue some really liquidy glitter glue that's applied with a doe foot. And this is all my powdered pigment stuff. 
I don't really have any of this that's a repeat. Most of this is very new. And yeah, not going anywhere. Not going anywhere currently. Now, this one is one of the bite sticks that you can use it on your mouth, you can use it on your eyes. It's basically just a cream makeup that you can use wherever. This one is called Rose Pearl, and I'm still going, that's an awful brown shade for a rose. Anyway, bite is who bite is. And then, I don't know why these are in here, other than they're just so tiny. I will probably get these out of the little boxes and put them in a magnetic because this is just the Brulee from, from Wet n Wild and the Panther from Wet n Wild. They're just individual shadows and their powder. Now, in this one, I've got most of my cream sticks. It's like I've got an AOA and I've got a bunch of, let's see, yeah, these are LA Colors in what they called their Mermaid line that I just picked up and I've got an elf one that's supposed that's got a shimmer on one side and a matte on the other. Let me warn you, if you go after one of these pencils from Elf, the caps hate to stay on. Let's see. This one from AOA. What was the name on this one? I don't remember. And the cap doesn't have a name currently on it anymore. So it's just kind of a bronzy brown. Elf stick in blue steel. Just your basic cream stick. Nice and creamy, easy to use, stays forever. This cream stick is Tresonique. Kona Coffee is the color. That's one that came by way of Pink Sweets. See, I told you that. Elf stick just like dropped its cap again. And then we have Elf Liquid Metals. We've got the Brushed Copper and rose gold look a whole lot alike don't they well they look a little different on the eyes they work really well it's another doe foot applicator thing they work really well they're very good as an inner corner highlight among other things now this is a revlon piece that i picked up and this is the one that I complained about in another um, another video because the solid color end, the green, doesn't want to stay on my eyes. It peels. The glitter end works pretty well as an eyeliner. Don't try and put it over the whole lid for effect. It just, no. It's no. Now, these two came from Pink Sweets. Touch in Soul, Metalist Liquid Foil, and Glitter Shadow Duo. I've got one in Adelio and one in Talia, better known as Red and Gold. These are wonderful. They work great. They're beautiful. I like these. I don't like this one. I don't like the red one. I like these. Okay? Okay. I've got, I've got Elf coming out my ears with stuff. Elf was doing a sale on their um, cream shadows in these little containers. And so I picked up the range they currently had on sale. So I've got a fairly good um, range to work with for pretty much 
pretty much basic eye looks. You know, you just want... The thing is, these go on and they are beautiful. They are creamy and then they set down and they stay put. They don't crease. I even put them on without a primer. They don't crease. They don't move. The only time I have a problem with them staying put is if my eyes are being watery. If my eyes are watery, I'm going to lose some color. But I do that with the powder shadows, too. This is an e.l.f. smudge pot, which, you know, just a little brown. If you just want to slap something on your eyes so you look like you've got something done, done something, stick your finger in this, run it across your eyelids, put a little liner on, throw some mascara at it, and go. It's just, it's wonderful. I also use it just as a, a base to put other things with. This is AOA Studios. This is their Velour Eyeshadow. Now, this is a pretty color. Kind of a dusty rose. And one of my favorites. Doo -doo -doo. And then, I have this one. It's called Alien Love Child from Space Case Cosmetics. This came in one of my sample bags. This thing is gorgeous. It's got a beautiful, beautiful color and a gorgeous shift. I absolutely love this one. The last bit that I've got in this part of the collection is I've got two e.l.f. palettes with creams. Now this brown up in this corner is actually a brown and blue mix. This one is Cool Mist and this one is Island Breeze. I really like both of them. The colors are great. They stay put. I mean, look at that. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Me, I like playing with the cream colors. I really do. I like them a lot. This is another part of my collection. I because most of it is brand new and I'm really just getting into working with it. I don't see this going anywhere. And yes, I'm planning on doing a set of videos with these cream colors featured and these delightful shimmery glitters. So, yeah, that's going to happen. And I'm going to do it. I promise. I've already had a few people go, when are you doing it? They're going, all right, you keep saying it. When are you doing it? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Don't get pushy. But, yeah, these are all going nowhere. I'm just getting into this with these, and I'm really enjoying them. So, yeah, they're not going anywhere yet. I'm just getting into playing. Put the glitters in there. Put that in there. I'm working on trying to get this entirely redone because I don't really have enough of these little containers to put all of this stuff away properly. So it's kind of sliding around in the drawer, you know. Da, 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 da. Anyway, that's the cream setup, and that's the cream setup that's staying. Now, let me see if I can actually get to the rest of the eyeshadow.
Alrighty, this is the pile of pallets. Now, because Shop Hush was doing their huge sale and everything was really, really, really inexpensive because they were doing their huge sale, I got quite a few different bits and pieces that came from that huge sale. And some of them are definitely going nowhere soon. I just got it. Okay? Okay. And I've been trying to find colors like this for a long time in a manner that I could afford. Here they are. This one is going nowhere. I don't have anything else in the rest of this that has this kind of coloration as that um, Aftershock palette. Now, this one will likely drive some of you crazy because it is a micro version of the Jacqueline Hill palette. The company that made it is called Flossy Sunflower and all it says on the front is pressed powder shadow palette. On the interior it has the dedication that Jacqueline put on her palette. It does not have the signature though. And we have a rather, these are tiny pans, see I can cover it with my finger, tiny pans in a really less than stellar imitation of the formula that Jacqueline Hill has in the, in the real palette. At the time, all I knew was I saw nifty colors that I could use. And it was six bucks. So I bought it. I found out after find, seeing the dedication that this was one of Jacqueline's, the, you know, a knockoff of Jacqueline's palette. Next, we have this one I picked up at the drugstore during the holidays for $4.99. This is a profusion palette called Glitter and Glam. We've got cheap products and eye products. Now, I really have enjoyed playing with this palette. I did a lot of my Christmas and New Year's stuff out of this palette because it's just stunning when it comes to things like the metallics and the shimmers. This definitely is set up to be a really glam palette. You can do some stuff with this and at five bucks it's not bad. I don't believe I have anything that really compares to this. In particular, unless you want to look at the Glitter and Glam from Profusion, that is the full palette. Now, some of the colors from the small one are duplicated in here, but not all of them. Some of the, the pale metallics that are in the other one are not duplicated here. However, some of the rest of them are. This is also one of my favorite palettes. And again, I picked it up at the drugstore during the holiday season for five bucks. This is why I keep telling people, check the drugstore. Especially during Christmas when they've got these nifty sets out. Now, this palette like I said, the colors are similar to the Jacqueline Hill palette, but you don't get any kind of payoff with these that even comes close to the actual Jacqueline Hill palette. And I'm thinking because of that, I'm seriously considering passing this one on to my daughter-in-law for my granddaughter. 
She's 13. She doesn't need a lot of colorful payoff. She's just getting started. And I've never had any of these stain my eyes. So, that one is definitely on the going away list. Now, got my Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air 10 Pan, which is a good basic palette. It's got great colors in it. It's got good payoff. And it was six bucks. Not a big deal. There's shimmers in it. There's mattes in it. There's transition colors. There's highlight. You've got a little bit of everything. And these 10 pan palettes that, that Wet n Wild does, they're great. They really are. You get decent payoff out of these with very little effort. It's worth the investment. And no, I am not getting rid of this anytime soon. There's quite a few of them that, you know, there's probably going to be multiples of the same color because some of these palettes I'm not going to get rid of anytime real quick. That's okay as far as I'm concerned right now. Now this is a Sephora palette, but it's a Sephora mini. I got this again on a Sephora sale and I paid 10 bucks. It's a really nifty palette. This is the cookie dough palette. Nice shimmers, nice mattes, basic, put it together, go to work kind of palette. I love their formula. I really do. It's comfortable. It works well. Is it my usual fancy colory thing? No. But that's okay. I still use it. Now, Elf. Elf is my thing. We already know about Elf being my thing. This is the Elf Clay Palette. Again, it's just basic colors. But I love the formula. It's not going anywhere. This I picked up from Amazon. When it got here, the yellow was busted to hell. I used a little alcohol and repressed it the best I can. This thing... We were thinking about doing the Mardi Gras thing, and it, it's gold, purple, and green. So I'm looking at this and go, oh, look, gold, purple, and green. Except for one problem. They're absolutely sheer. They are sheer. They are beautiful, but they are sheer. They work great as toppers. They really do. This one is... TZ Cosmetics with an X at the I, I X at the end. Paid four bucks for it. Free shipping from Amazon. It wasn't on Prime. It was just four bucks with free shipping. And I'm like going, cool. I can work with that. Bad Habit Dream State. This one is from the Shop Hush sale. It is nothing but shimmers. Again, brand new, not giving it up. Beauty Glazed Sunset Dusk. Now, I've been using this off and on since I got it. I got it from, from Amazon. There's nothing wrong with it. The color payoff is good. However, the majority of these colors I've also got in the Morphe 35M. I've got a lot of these colors in there. And I've got a lot of the shimmers in things like the Profusion palette. So I'm thinking about letting my daughter-in-law take a run at this one if she's interested. got another beauty glazed here 
that I got under similar circumstances. This one's called the I Got You Edition. But if you look at the colors, there's a whole lot of similarity between the one I just had up and that one. Yes, this one has got more golds in it, but it's still, it's very similar. This one's golds, this one's purples. The only real difference is this one doesn't have a pressed glitter and this one does. But a lot of the colors are the ones that are in my 35M. So I'm going, I don't need to have all of these right at hand when I've got all these others that I'm not letting go because I just got them. Yes, I know. I'm, be, I'm being weird. Now, Street Ink. This one is a Malibu Glitz, believe it or not. But it came from the shop Hush Sale Hall. And it's gorgeous. I will have to try and fiddle with the uh, white balance and everything so that hopefully you get to see what this actually looks like. Malibu Glitz Street Ink. Intense Matte Makeup Palette. So, yeah, you're looking at all intense matte colors. And I have been playing with it. The payoff is excellent. Now, this one I did a video with not so long ago. It's the Ohana palette. The Disney Ohana palette from Lilo and Stitch. Interesting palette. It really is. It's got some very pretty colors. I picked this one up, believe it or not, as untouched other than having the, the brush missing at a thrift store for five bucks. I didn't care. It hadn't been touched. I took it. Five bucks is five bucks. However, when I did the video with this, I had to work my tail off to get a payoff on the colors. I believe my granddaughter is going to love the little mirror with the silhouette cut out that looks like Stitch. Let's see if I can do this without blinding people. And she will probably think, think that is just the best thing since sliced bread. So, that one's going over here. I've got plenty of other things with lots and lots and lots of shimmery colors in the same families. Bad Habit Aura. Shop Hush, here we go again. I do believe I am not going to miss a whole lot of any of the colors that were in those other two palettes from Bad Habit that I put over on the other side for my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter. Because I had an amazing time with Shop Hush. By the time I got finished with the 60% off on top of what was already taken off most of my orders were 15 to 20 dollars and i got stacks of pallets because of the way they were doing that sale now this is another bad habit this one is called light speed that is gorgeous in person like i said i'll try and get the balances right so you can actually see what these look like these are still available. Shop Hush may be gone, but these are still available. They're on Amazon and on some other discount makeup sites. This one is Face Candy Amazonia. I do not feel deprived giving up those other two bad habit palettes. I really don't. I don't feel deprived. Okay, this lonely little thing came in the most recent Ipsy. This is the Moods Shadow called Alien Turquoise. I took it out of its little container 
and I put it in one of my metallic, um, excuse my, my magnetic palettes. These, this is the small palette from AOA Studios, which runs about four bucks. Okay, this is my artist palette from Koki Cosmetics. And it's in the set. The set is called Peachy Queen. I like this one. I mean, whenever I've got my hair really, really blonde, the peachy stuff looks really, really good on my 60-year-old mug. So that one's not going anywhere. Shop Hush again. This one is the Face Candy Sugar palette. And it's got some really nifty colors in here. It's got mattes, it's got shimmers, and I'm trying to not blind you with the mirror, but since it's in a metal tin, you can't really fold it back very much. Now this one I was kind of stalking and I found it in Amazon for four bucks. This is the Beauty Glazed Strelitza or Stars. You see, I really don't think I'm going to miss the palettes that I give up terribly much. I've got stuff. Now, I've got a whole pile of of the little elf strip palettes. This one is the prism palette. It's all glitters, shimmers, whatever you want to call them. And it's just a graduated cream color that goes from very, very pale to kind of a dingy gold. But they're all shimmers. They work great as inner corner highlights. I've got the Mad for Mattes. That I picked up fairly recently. Anybody who says they can't find a decent mat for multiple colors needs to check this one out. Because there's everything from white to dark chocolate. There's blues, there's a green. It doesn't look green when I'm looking at the monitor right now, but it's green. And grays and roses, nifty stuff. And then I have the Mad for Matt's Jewels. The Mad for Matt's Jewels does not have a mirror, but this is the e.l.f. Mad for Matt Jewel Tones. These are wonderful. Like I said, I'm going to have to work on my color balance once I go into post-production because the camera is not currently doing these justice. The last of my e.l.f. strip palettes that I have is the Rose Gold Palette. I'm going to try and cover the mirror. The Rose Gold Palette is just your basic graduated pinky purples and dusty rose and that kind of thing. But it's a good basic, I gotta go to work, let me throw something together kind of palette. It's also great for traveling if you're not expecting to be going to a party or something. And you just want to not look like you died while you were traveling. The Beauty Creations Elisa palette. Another one that I stalked through Amazon something fierce. I paid four dollars and stalked this thing and it's gorgeous and the color payoff is good. Not getting rid of. Now this one is a magnetic palette that 
All the rounds on the bottom are color pop. The ones in the top are just generic stuff that I picked up in a gift set. But no, it's not going anywhere either. I haven't had those color pop colors all that long. I got greens, I got blues, and I got a couple of rose tones and a silver. And yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Like I said, this one, even though it's showing up green on the monitor, is actually a duochrome rose and green. I'm hoping I can get it to show up better. Now, anybody who knows the Morphin 35L already knows what this one is. The only thing that is missing is this one black in the corner, and it was a matte black, and it busted. Which is why some of the other colors in here look a bit dusty. But if you look, you can see a lot of the shades that are in a couple of the other palettes that I'm getting rid of. The rusty and the rusty reds and the oranges and that sort of thing. And I really don't think I'm going to miss them much. It's like this is a really versatile palette. I've been having fun playing with it. Thank you, Pink Sweets, for the gift. But that black got busted in Transmit, so, you know, you clean it up and you make do. And yes, that was my little doggies playing, getting ready to go to bed. They're silly. Now, in this other basket, this is all the stuff that I usually keep down in the bottom drawer just because. L.A. Colors Rose. Is it a bad palette? No. Do I like it? Yes. Do I reach for it when I've got all the other ones like the Rose Gold from e.l.f.? Not as much. I got this one first and then I got the Rose Gold from e.l.f. LA Colors. Nude. Imagine that. Yeah, for any of you who, who like certain naked palettes and such, this one probably looks kind of familiar. Again, is it a bad palette? No. Do I reach for it? Not anymore, considering some of my other palettes now. <laughs> I paid a dollar for these LA Color palettes that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Dolly Colors. Smoky. This is a really nice smoky palette. It really is. Again, the, the camera, the angle, and the lighting and everything, and my cheap webcam are not really doing it justice, so I'm hoping that in post-production I can get the balance a little better so that it's not quite so dull. Yes, there's a lot of L.A. colors in this box, in this little basket. L.A. colors, three color smoky. Yes, I dug into that center gray for something on one occasion. It's just white, gray, and black. L.A. Colors. Now, you think that that one um, palette I showed you was tiny for pan size? This is tiny. There's my little finger. L.A. Colors. This is called Natural Darling. It's a little tiny book held together with a piece of elastic. That's all that keeps it closed. It's cute. Yep, it's cute. Okay. Color Mates, Tropical Isle. Every bit of it is shimmers. Every bit. 
Yes, that was my husband walking by. He's taking the puppies out. Every bit of it is shimmer. These are not the best payoff on the planet. Colormates has not all, always been my favorite thing, but I was looking for shimmers in these particular colors for something. And a dollar later at the dollar store, I had it. Okay. Color Workshop. Color Workshop put out, and I, I did a did a video on this. They put out this huge gift set. Like 85 items. This huge gift set for Christmas that I picked up at Walmart for 15 bucks. This is one of the palettes that's in it. However, it looks just like my rose gold palette from Elf. Yes, my hands are starting to get shaky. Put this one back over here. This one is nothing but smoky dark colors until you get to the very light ends. It's grays, it's blacks, it's deep purple, it's dark blue. There's a really intensely dark green. It's not a bad palette. But I've got these. I've got these in other palettes. This one I may hang on to for a little while longer just because. Just because. Okay, last one from the color workshop. Pretty much a basic nude palette. It's very nice. It's got some shimmers. It's got some mattes. But it's mostly just, you know, nude bronze and browns and muted golds and that kind of thing. They're not bad. They're not expensive but they're not bad. L.A. Colors again. One of my little dollar palettes. It's all greeny things. Even the browns from, you know, what looks like brown on here is green. LA Colors from the dollar store, blues and purple. That's what it is. It's one of their little six pans. They've got a lot of, of the little six pans. And if, see when I was doing the um, run up to March for St. Patty's Day, I didn't have a green in the shade I wanted because a lot of this didn't come until later so I picked this up at Dollar Tree and went happily on my merry way now I have mentioned pop feel before pop feel is one of those companies that does some private labeling for some you know eh, off-brand generic makeup companies and there's a lot of times you'll be seeing something that's got a whole different name on it and when it comes in it says pop feel because somebody forgot to do the labeling anyway this is the matte palette they've got two palettes in this size one that's called number one and one that's called number two one is all mattes which is this one the other one is all shimmers I got the all mattes. It's browns and dusty reds and some quiet pinks. And I think I paid $2 for it off of Amazon. Color Mates. Again, picked this up at a little store. Had this palette for a dollar. It's just called 
Warm Tones. That's all that it's got for a name is Warm Tones. And I'm looking at it going, yeah, pretty much. You know, it's got some reddy browns. It's got some greeny browns. It's got a few mattes. It's got a few shimmers. It's not bad. But it's not great either. This one does not have a lot of payoff. It really doesn't. It's a bit dusty and is not the world's best payoff. Which is another reason I'm sending it downstairs for my granddaughter. She doesn't need any big payoff. Like I said, she's 13, going on 30. <clears throat> L.A. Colors Bold. Now, I've shown this one off before. L.A. Colors Bold. And I'm going, what the hell you mean bold? They're pastels. But it's called L.A. Colors Bold. And it's all pastels. And it's like Easter egg colors. You know, greens and blues and pinks and oranges and shimmers. And they're all pastels. Every one of them. They've got shimmers, they've got mattes, and every one of them is still a pastel. Now, when I first got started in this idea of doing makeup tutorials and makeup stuff, again, we are talking pop feel, okay? I picked up, and if you look at Amazon, you will see these little fold-out palettes that talk about being, you know, professional 88 shades, yada, yada, yada. And this is what they are. Again, it's like I have to use my index finger for these. These are the dime size pans, not the not the you know tiny token pans. These are the dime size pans. Now, because I had ordered this one by itself first, when I ordered this one that had the three trays, I now have a duplicate for this one that's still in the wrapper. I didn't bother to unwrap it. The colors are intense in the pan, not so much on the eye. This looks like a pretty good intense red. It's not. Some of the other ones, you can build them up eventually. It's mattes, it's shimmers. If you are just getting started and are a little timid about how much color you're going to be using, these are great. They really are. All this cost me about 10 bucks. Bought it through Amazon. They are not perfect. But if you are just getting started and you want to mess with a lot of colors, this is it. Okay? This is it. This is a thing. This will work. But, I've now got pretty much most of these colors over here in these other palettes. So, yeah. My daughter-in-law and my granddaughter will have lots and lots of things to pick through. Will they keep all of it? I don't know. I really don't. But, I'm keeping a fair amount of my original collection with all of this but I'm also getting rid of a heck of a lot just because let's be real I'm not using it if I'm not using it, it there's no reason to keep it if I'm not going to use it there's no reason to keep it They're possibly going to use it. If they do, I'm thrilled. If they don't, that's up to them. But I know I'm not going to use it. 
So off it's going to go to the other section of the house where they have their rooms. And, I mean, this is a sizable amount to get rid of. It really is. I have cleared out all of my bottom drawer and a chunk out of my main drawer. No, I'm not going to sit here and count them at this point. But when I started off from the big palette all the way down to those little six pans from LA Colors, I had 42 palettes. Now I don't. At some point I will count up the ones I have left. But not now. I think this is probably enough. Anyway. Yeah, I'm probably going to do the the eyeshadows all by themselves because this has gone on quite some time. Anyway, that's the end of my very first declutter. I hope you had fun because actually I did. It was a lot of work, but I had a lot of fun too. I went through and revisited everything I have. And yeah, I've been doing this since August last year. It's not that long, but this is how quick you can build up a heck of a stack of stuff. So, you know, think about your collection when you're collecting. Think about what you've already got when you're collecting. If there's a really special palette out there that is just calling your name, go for it. If there's something you just want because it's the newest release and everybody's dancing about it being the newest, the best, and the greatest, Think about it a little bit. You've got time. You can always order it afterwards on the second release. Anyway, that's it for this segment. Okay, I believe I got rid of quite a bit. And I believe my little dog has decided to rearrange my backdrop one more time. And again, you're a pain. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I'm doing anyways again. I'm trying to break that habit. My daughter-in-law now has a pile of palettes to go through. To divide up between her and her daughter. And possibly even her mom, if her mom's interested. Not sure, though, her mom is a serious Mac girl. Always has been. But, I think I have done a reasonable job of thinning out palettes that I don't otherwise use. I believe I've done a fairly reasonable job of cleaning out all types of materials that I was not using and didn't need to go to waste. Think about your own collection. Are you using all of it? Do you still like all of it? Have you had some of it forever just because it was your first fill in the blank whichever you know brand's palette. Yeah. Do you really need the massive collection that you see some of the million plus subscriber YouTubers with? I mean, they're on massive PR lists. And they don't pay for all of their stuff. If you have to pay for all of your stuff, you need to consider how you're spending your money and make sure you're not hurting yourself. It's makeup. It's fun. But, You don't necessarily need every 
last piece ever created. On top of that, remember, I'm on a budget. I don't have bail money. Be good. <laughs>